I stood on the uh, um, uh, Claiborne Bridge, uh, which I vividly remember uh, during Katrina standing on it and overlooking the Lower Ninth Ward, and it, it visually looked like an atom bomb had struck it. And I then pulled up nine years later and stood on that bridge, and I see Make It Right, you know, all these houses of color that look like almost a bouquet of flowers. And uh, that was very, very inspiring to me, uh, visually and metaphorically, because I think it, it, um, it, it, you want to sort of see what it is. You want it, you're drawn to it. And I think um, that's a, a fabulous thing, uh, you know, that, uh, that Brad Pitt was a part of, obviously, and, and uh, the work that so many of the great architects did there. But I think it's, um, it's really, really neat to meet the people who live there, because I think um, uh, some of the po folks that I photographed, I got a sense of, you know, um, what their life was before and what their lives are not like now. Um, so that was really, really an interesting experience. But yeah, and then there was, you know, there was Caroline Parker, who I met nine years ago um, uh, in the Holy Cross, and she was the only person, there were no other people there. She literally was the only person left in her neighborhood. She was sitting on her porch step, drying her laundry with a big smile on her face in an abandoned neighborhood. And she told me, you know, that she was gonna rebuild her life and she was gonna move and, and she said, don't worry, they're gonna come back and things are gonna change. And I went back and visited Caroline and across the street, that old school had still, it still collapsed. They haven't done anything to it. The neighbors on the right and left side of her, completely abandoned. One of the houses has a tree growing out of it. So you, you see both sides of this story, you know. For all the good and the change you have, there's still a lot more that needs to happen uh, for, for many of the people down there. Thank you.